My name is Caroline Labrachere. This is my daughter Mimi Labrachere. Hello. This is our first YouTube video. Uh, we asked on Instagram if anyone had any questions for us. And a few of you did. So here we go. We're going to answer some questions. Um, let's start with what's your age difference? And having done the maths, -da! 33 years. <laughs> We got it wrong first time round. Yeah. Um, so 33 years. I'm 55. I'm 22. What's your skincare regime for older women? Neutrogena have brought out a new range called Cellular Boost. Yes. I, right. I, yeah. I got the name right. She said um, Ultra Boost earlier. Yeah, but, but that's, that's my an trainers. Attitude, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I, I'm absolutely loving the routine. Um, so highly recommended. My skin is particularly good at the moment. Are you ever coming to Barcelona? Uh, I very much hope so. You have been. I've been a few times and I love it there. There's a fantastic designer called Tot Hom, and uh, I do have a few of their clothes, and I will be knocking on their door um, when I finally get there. How long have you been running? I've been running probably since I was about 18, on and off. Um, there are periods of time where it's easy, whether where it feels right, and other periods of time when you're just feeling lazy or it just doesn't uh, work for you. So on and off since I was 18. I did my first marathon in 2017 and I'm now running ultras. I ran my first ultra marathon this year. Um, I ran the first half. On my first half and my first marathon. <laughs> All um, in one go. All in one go. <laughs> Because we like a challenge. Oh, yeah. Um, but then otherwise, I've been running on and off since about 2015. But those on and offs are big on and offs, about six months on, six months off. Um, but I'm very much on at you the are. moment. She is on a roll. Yeah. Has your decision to not dye your hair influenced anyone else? No. Influenced me. <laughs> anyone else? Thank Probably you. has influenced other people also, but yes, it has influenced me. I think um, when I eventually start going grey, which could be in the next 10 years, case study one, case study two, my grandmother, I think when I eventually start turning grey, I will probably hold off for a little while because I will want to be brunette for as long as I can. Because once I go grey, I won't be dyeing my hair back again. It will be for good. Um, Botox starting from what age? I think it's totally up to you how you feel. I would speak to a doctor uh, that has been recommended to you and see what their take is on it. But I've read that if you start early on that your muscles don't create those memories, therefore um, you don't get as many lines when you're older. But I probably started in my 30s and very sporadically. And I wouldn't know yet. What connects the two of you the most? I think we're very similar, which is sometimes a good thing and sometimes a bad thing. Yeah. I've always wanted a baby girl, always, uh, since I remember, since I was about 16. Um, I started buying clothes for my bottom drawer for my baby girl, and she's still my baby girl. Um, and that kind of goes on to the next question. Where were you born slash raised? Question is for you both. Well, if you started at the very beginning. IVF in New Delhi. So I was made in New Delhi, born in Heidelberg, Germany. And in an American hospital. In an American hospital, mm -hmm. and then grew up in a lot of different places. Yeah. Uh, I was born in Islington, London, and at the age of six, we moved to the country, to Bedfordshire. And when I met and married my husband, we traveled around the world because he was in the army. And that is the reason that Mimi has traveled so much. And Max. And Max, mustn't forget him. I've been told to limit the video to four minutes. We're already on six. six. <laughs> Oops. Um, so we will answer some other questions at another time. And thank you all for asking the questions that you did. Thank you.